In this video, I'm gonna take some time to talk about two Blue Ocean spec books that you may wanna check out. Stay tuned for the video. Reggie here, your friendly neighborhood bodybuilder and comic book collector, and I wanna welcome you to another one of my videos. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, I want to encourage you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that you can stay abreast of all the content that I release from my channel. And if you enjoy this video, I want to encourage you to go ahead and smash that like button so you can let the algorithm know that you like the content that is coming out from the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about two Blue Ocean spec books that you may want to check out. And the way that we're going to do it is we're going to talk about the book and what makes the book special. I'll share with you my rationale and I'll also dig into some of the data and maybe let you know where you may want to get on board with some of these books. The very first book that I want to talk about is one that may not be an obvious choice for many people. And I am specifically talking about Secret Wars 2, issue number 3. Now, the reason that I recommend this book is because it is actually the first appearance of the Beyonder in human form. There are a lot of rumors out there right now that the MCU is eventually going to make Secret Wars into a movie or possibly even a TV show. If you've watched some of my videos recently on the Disney Investor Day, one of the things that I put forth in those videos is that everything that Kevin Feige does is on purpose. And in his presentation at Investor Day, he made mention that Secret Invasion was going to be coming out. And he also made a comment about Secret Wars. Again, I don't think that that was an accident. Both Secret Invasion and Secret Wars were pretty big crossover events that were pretty successful. And with the MCU going cosmic and with the rumors that are out there about uh, Secret Wars and Secret Invasion, I think that we will potentially see Secret Wars on the screen. Will it be a movie? Will it be a TV show? I honestly don't know. But this is a book that I have in my collection and you may want to think about picking up as well. Because if they do make a Secret Wars movie or TV show, The Beyonder is a core figure in that production. He has to be because he is the cosmic force that brings all of the superheroes and villains together. And so he has to be in it. And what you'll realize if you've read the original Secret Wars run, if you've read it, what you know is that the Beyonder appeared, but he appeared as a riff in the sky, a blue riff in the sky with a voice. He did not take physical form until Secret Wars 2, issue number 3. So if you decide to actually pick this comic up, you may want to consider getting the 9.8. And I suggest this because when you look at the data, what you'll see is that while the 9.8 has an FMV of $160, sales for this comic have actually been below that FMV. So instead of getting a raw comic and sending it in, and taking the chance of getting a 9.8, you could potentially just snag a really nice copy of a 9.8 for just a few bucks. And if you decide that that is too much money for you, uh, you can always just look in your bins because you may actually have this book. You may be able to find it in a dollar bin. Again, this was a really hot series, pretty popular. And so you may be able to find copies if you just want to go the raw route. The next book on the list, Mighty Avengers issue number 13. And this book has a lot going for it. A lot of first appearances and also a first team appearance. So let me give you a rundown of everything that is happening in this book. 
So we first have the team appearance of Nick Fury's Secret Warriors. And this team is comprised of Phobos, Slingshot, Quake, Stonewall, Hellfire, Druid. It is also the first appearance of Stonewall, the son of the Absorbing Man, the first appearance of Druid, son of Dr. Druid, the first appearance of Hellfire, a descendant of the Phantom Rider. It is also the first appearance of Yo-Yo Rodriguez, also known as Slingshot. There is a lot that is actually going on in this comic, but what I can tell you is that that is not why this book is actually on the list. This book is on the list because of where those characters intersect with something else. And the something else that I'm referring to is Secret Invasion. And we just talked about it with book one. We know that Secret Invasion is going to be made into an MCU TV show. And if you read Secret Invasion, what you see in that book is that Nick Fury's secret warriors play a pretty important role in that comic. I think in issue three, they actually show up and they turn the tide of the battle by getting involved because that's what Nick Fury does, right? So if the the TV show goes the route of the comic, these characters, which are in some ways some pretty minor characters, they could play a pretty important role in the show. So it'll be interesting to see what Marvel decides to do, whether they're going to do something completely original or whether they're going to kind of stay true to the comic. My belief is that no matter which route they're going to go, there is a potential for some of these characters to be sucked into things. With that said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the data. If you decide to pull the trigger on this book, you may want to consider getting a 9.8 of Mighty Avengers issue number 13. And I say that because this book has an FMV of $80 and all of the sales of this book are well below that $80 price. And so... You can basically get a raw book, but why not get a guarantee 9.8 for just a couple of bucks and know that you actually have it. The other thing that I want to mention to you is that there is a second print of this comic as well. A second print of Mighty Avengers issue number 13. And this book has a estimated number of copies at just above 5,300 copies. Now, a 9.8 of this book is a little more expensive at $230. And I will tell you that sales have been north of that FMV. A safer way could be to get a 9.6. At a 9.6, this book has an FMV of $100 and sales have been right at that FMV price. I will tell you that I actually have two copies of this. I have a graded copy of the regular cover and then I also have a raw copy of the second print. I could not spend that $230 plus to get the second print, but I did spring for the 9.8 of the regular cover. So there you have it. Those are essentially my two Blue Ocean books. As I always say, You want to take some time to think about what it is that I've presented in this video. Do your own research and then decide for yourself if you want to pick up these books. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects. Take care.